Welcome back to the 45 Home Lab YouTube channel. I'm Zach Perry, back again for another video, this time covering image. So image is a modern alternative to cloud photo services. It has machine learning tools, facial recognition, and object tagging. It's fast, mobile friendly, and constantly under active development, which we love here. So today we're gonna to dive into Image, the open source self-hosted photo, video, and backup solution. We'll go over how to install it, what it can do, and why it might finally replace your cloud photo service for good. So if you've been relying on Google Photos, iCloud to back up your family memories, but you're also the kind of person who likes to store their data locally, this is a great tool to get up and running. Today's video is split into two main parts. We'll be walking through the setup of creating our Samba share in the Houston UI where media is going to be stored, installing Docker, and then installing image with Docker Compose. Then secondly, then I'll give you a full tour of the UI features and what you can expect once it's up and running. So let's get started. First things first, you'll need a few things. A machine running Linux, bare metal or VM, doesn't matter. I'll be doing this uh, from VM in my Proxmox host, Docker and Docker Compose installed at least four gigabytes of RAM and two CPU cores, but Image recommends six gigabytes and four cores, and some kind of persistent storage like ZFS and Samba Share for my setup. Step one, we need to create our Samba Share. So to do that, we're gonna log into Houston, which I have installed on an Ubuntu 22 VM. We're gonna log in at our IP and port 9090. I'll create our data set in the ZFS module here. Then I'll go over to file sharing, and this is how we're gonna tell Samba that we want to use the data set that we created. We'll add myself as the user. Not shown here is creating this user and giving them the Samba password. If you wanna see this whole process from start to finish, let me know in the comments below. So, okay, now with that done, we can move on to the next step, which is installing Docker. Installing Docker Compose from the command line, we're gonna to need to first start by adding a repository to install the needed packages. So we'll paste this one liner to install our required Docker packages. Check to make sure it's installed properly by running Docker Compose. Lastly, if you wanna use Docker without sudo, run the following while logged in as that user. So sudo usermod-a-g docker uh, money sign user. This user will already need to be a sudo user. You'll need to log out and log back in to apply this. Step three, setting up image with Docker Compose. So we're gonna install image using the recommended Docker Compose method. All of our media is going to live on a Samba share at slash tank slash image, which is a ZFS data set on the same VM. I've already set up user access for Zach to write with permissions to that path. Start by creating a directory for the image install. So make dir image dash app cd slash image dash app. So now we need to grab the latest Docker Compose .yaml and the .n file. And we're going to just copy and paste these two wget uh, commands here to pull down everything that we need. So open the .env file with your editor of choice. I'm a Vim user, so we'll run vim.env and we'll update the values to match your setup. The only thing I've changed are the upload location and the time zone. Then we'll start the container by running docker compose up space dash D. First thing we need to do is log in. So on the first launch, we're gonna to go to the web UI and create an admin account. And you can now log in and start uploading media. You can enable storage templates that will organize the files based on a user defined template, but we won't be using this due to the mentioned stability issues in the pop-up. And I haven't fully tested myself to be honest. So next we're gonna go through the um, image itself and the features. So let's take a tour of what you get once you get image up and running. So log into the browser at your IP, port 2283, and you can drag and drop, bulk upload photos and videos, share with other people in this minimalist compact web UI. When it comes to uploading, you can upload from the web UI and the image uh, Android or iOS app. Uploads are fast with support for HEIC, JPEG, RAW, MP4, and other common formats. So with the mobile app, you can enable background uploads. It'll sync new photos and videos automatically over Wi-Fi or mobile data. And you can also restrict it to specific albums or folders. Now, facial recognition and object tagging. This is where image gets really kind of interesting. So behind the scenes, it runs these machine learning models using a few different tools uh, for facial recognition and object classification. So you get a few things like smart albums based on content like dog, beach, mountains, geolocation tagging if your media has GPS EXIF data. 
all processed locally, no cloud required. If you have tens of thousands of photos, upload regularly, and you want to supercharge this process, you can take the workload off your CPU and you can look at integrating a GPU, like an NVIDIA card with CUDA, sharing and access controls. So image supports, user accounts with roles, shared albums and public links, granular control over who sees what. So it's perfect for families or teams. Some of the things I really like about image is the map that pinpoints where photos have been taken. So if you travel a lot, this is a fantastic tool. Another thing is it'll scan for duplicates and you can review and remove them if needed and tagging to take your organization to another level. So if you've been looking for a self-hosted Google Photos replacement, Image is absolutely worth trying. It's one of the most polished projects in the home lab space right now, and it's only getting better. So if you wanna see what we have on offer, head on over to 45homelab.com to see our products. And are you running Image? Something else? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see y'all next time.